On the stone column blocking the road, there was a banner with symbols painted on the canvas. The only one that could be seen above the rock showed a leaf. Perhaps it was a clue. Chalaku, make chukutubu, epeko. Ike, ochonaka, chalapuna, chulupu. He was a collector of strange objects. Teku could ask him about some of the things he was looking for. Mambalacum, chupita caca, chitipi, chipote. Ah, it's your mate, Kitita. Mambalacum, chupita caca. It seemed like the collector needed some help getting the box open again. Alpaca chocoma y 
que tú, chupota. In exchange for the coin, the collector asked for a solitary red leaf, almost impossible to find. There was something strange on that wall. Tiny lights seemed to emerge from inside the tapestry as if there were something behind it. It was a very old painting. It showed three shamans dancing around a bonfire. Behind them a thunderstorm was about to break out. It could be one of the ancient rain dances that his ancestors used to perform during droughts. Underneath 
the corpulent Toad King was one of the coins Teku needed to use the boat. Palote a Calacrán. Pacheco Chakra Tomeco. Palupo. Guspiña en Pinopo. Ia, ia. Cacho por la canonin. La para chumpanato. Panumbo. Mutacher Paikun. Choki, macaracuelle pute na la mandra? No, tu mote, bicapal, zopiguate. Chapulín coque, macharacón que chuta po uta cara. Capichu, bucaboco, anacondo. The Wakcha warrior described to her companion how she had caught that enormous fish and how she was planning to cook it for dinner. Palote a Calacrán. Pacheco Chaxa Tomeco. Palupo. Cuspin en Pinopo. On the edge of the window, there were three deep notches that formed a triangle. From the looks of it, some yeah, object yeah. had to fit there. Cacho por la canonin. La para chumpanato. Hanumbo. Butacher Paikun.
It was one of the masks the ancient warriors had placed on their mounts. Those huge beasts were known as Daiwus, and it had been centuries since any had been seen. Now Teku only had to find the second coin and bring it to the old lady. Teku gave the last coin to the old lady.
The ferry lady would be waiting on the dock until Teku decided to leave. The boat moved farther and farther away from the shore until all that was visible was a tiny speck on the horizon. Teku had never been off the island before, but he knew that long ago his ancestors had come from across the sea. They told stories about the great exodus when his people were on the verge of disappearing. The incessant conflicts between tribes had nearly wiped out the ancient villages, turning their inhabitants into nomads who wandered through the forests and jungles in search of new places to settle. Teku looked up at the starry sky. He had always liked doing that. Then he remembered what his master had taught him on one of his first nights in the village temple. Remember, Teku, the importance of light in this world of darkness. Before creation, the gods were surrounded by darkness in an endless night. When the new world emerged, they gave the stars light that with their glow turned the demons into rocks and huge mountains. It was from the light of the gods that life emerged. That's why the role you have been assigned is so important. When you were born, the stars showed that your destiny was to be a light guide. You have the ability to carry an inextinguishable flame with you. And that's why you must remain at my side. As a shaman, I am a messenger. I was born with the power to communicate with the gods, to ask them to help our people and guide them. And the nexus that joins us to them is the light. Fire. Do you understand now how important this tiny flame is? But be calm. You have nothing to worry about. Your preparation is just beginning. A sudden clap of thunder brought his attention back to the small boat. The waters were starting to get choppy. A thunderstorm was rolling in. Luckily, from the boat, the sailors could now make out the opposite shore. Teku would never have been able to imagine what he was going to find in this unknown place. of bark with a curious shape was peeling off what was left of the tree. At the moment, Teku had no interest in it. 